Hello and welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Through the Ages. Today's set is Metal Raiders, which was released on June 26 of 2002 to North America. It introduced powerful cards like Counter Traps, which included Magic Jammer, Seven Tools of the Bandit, and Solemn Judgment. Two of those cards would see pretty niche play, however Solemn Judgment wouldn't see play till much later when people realized that the half half your life point cost wasn't as strong as it or wasn't as negative as it sounded we also saw mirror force introduced in this set which allowed you to protect from attacks and clear the board uh, in order to set up for your plays on your fault uh, on your turn you had heavy storm which would destroy any and all back row which was incredibly good for getting rid of said mirror force or getting around counter traps if they didn't have magic jammer you also had Sangan and Witch of the Black Forest release in this set, which would be some of the strongest search cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh!, even spawning some kind of similar type cards in the next set, which allowed you to sift through specific types of cards. Uh, and these two cards could search pretty much anything in the game apart from like Blue Eyes and Dark Magician and cards that weren't really seeing competitive play. These could search every single competitive vi competitively viable card. You also saw the release of Seven Colored Fitch, an 1800 attack normal monster, uh, which was released to pretty much decimate any and all normal monsters released before. It was an incredibly powerful card that saw tons of play. And of course, Summon Skull, the strongest single tribute monster in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! at the time, and would see incredible play at least for the coming months. All right, here we go. 24 packs of Metal Raiders, a set that changed a lot of things, power crept a lot of things. Here we go. F off rip, we get a Karibo and a bunch of the cards that attack directly, which are all terrible. Okay, here we are, back again. Opening more sets. Let's flip these goddamn cards. Okay, let's see what we got. I, okay, I have my list of things I should be looking for. But unlike the last set, it's not like five cards, so I gotta do a little looky-poo. Um, Pumpkin King looks cool. There's a, there's a Thunder Dragon, which is super good for later. A block attack helps me get over some of the big attack monsters. Bistro Butcher is pretty nice. I haven't seen any Harpy Ladies, which is very upsetting. Stimpak is also maybe good. It always looks so funny when they just have, like, the stupid so much text it's impossible to read. So, Disc Magician? That's interesting. There's a Dark Elf. We also got a Crass Clown in this pack. Uh, Crass Clown is a card that is pretty good for later stuff. You can kind of use it um, in a deck upcoming called Clown Control, pairing Crass Clown with Dream Clown. Pretty cool combination of cards there. We're halfway through now, and I still don't think I've pulled a Harpy Lady, which is, um, really bad. Dark Elf. Now, this is one of the ones I wanted, so this is good at least. Oh, Skull Knight is also one I wanted, right? No, Skull Knight is the one I think is cool. I want Summon Skull. There's a Magician of Faith. I believe that's our third Thunder Dragon as well, which is pretty good for us for later, especially if we're going into like the Chaos sets. Um, having the ability to just load our graveyard full of uh, good good light monsters is pretty decent. Seven Colored Fish is one I wanted. So glad we have that in here. Another good card. Oh, these, these are the clown ones that are good later. So I want to pull the clown ones. Not for now, but I want to make the cool clown deck. There's a witch. I don't think we have a Sangan yet either. Oh, no. Oh, no. We haven't pulled a single Harpy or a Sangan. That... Ugh. This is kind of bad. We also haven't pulled a seven-colored fish. Oh, no. Oh, Summon Skull. Ultra Air? Oh, my God. This is a big one. This this is actually huge, clearly. Because it's one of the ones I wanted, and it's an ultra rare. So likely Quinn doesn't have it, which will give me an advantage. So this is actually probably the biggest pull so far. Just under halfway through. This is what we want to see. 
There's our first Harpy Lady. We have one Harpy Lady in this deck. Fuck. Oh, another fishy. That's cool. I do like the fish. And Starboy's funny. Reminds me of that one fucker from, like, Batman. Alright, last pack here, and all I really want is another Harpy Lady. I would really love to make some kind of weird Harpy deck work, but I'm just, we got one. We got one this entire opening. This is this is really bad. We might still be on our kind of warrior beat deck. I still think I'm missing out on the spells, though. We only have two more packs here, and I think I've only noticed, like, one good spell. I don't think I've even gotten any of the counter traps. Um, tribute to the Doom. That is... Okay, that's what I was looking for. Super rare, too. That seems to be good. This seems like to be a good pull. Another good spell into my deck. But besides that, I don't think any of these are what I'm looking for. Now we are on to the last pack. Really, like spade, spade run this. Let's see what our final things. Oh, is that a second Dark Elf? Okay, that's what I like to see. All right, and welcome to the, the deck profile. Uh, as you can tell, our deck changed a little bit, but not a ton, mostly because I uh, didn't really get anything to really spice up and change the deck. I'm kind of still working under the same philosophy I had last time, except going a different direction. Um, so there was a lot more dragons in this deck. I originally wanted to do kind of kind of a harpy deck um and unfortunately i only pulled one harpy lady so we won't be seeing that strategy for a little bit uh, i do want to revisit harpies because we do have pet dragon um but we are still playing the one of blue eyes we are playing a say are you now uh, which we got from the the promo cards i'm um, playing the two curse of dragon as our Tribute summons. Sarah Yu is kind of the last, uh, is just another tribute, uh, two tribute monster. Um, we're playing the three Ryukushin Powered, which is a very, very good card introduced in the set. Uh, we're still playing our one Skull Redbird because it's very, very big and it pairs well with what we're doing. Uh, we're playing three Blackland Fire Dragon and two Winged Dragon Guard in the Fortress number one because that is what we pulled. I would be playing an extra one of these because it pairs very well with what we're doing, but. Here it is. Uh, we're still on our 2000 defense monsters, being the one Aqua Midor, two Mystic Elf, a Spirit of the Harp, and Giant Soldier of Stone. We're still playing Reaper of the Cards uh, as a way to deal with trap cards, especially with this set. There's a lot more. Um, there's counter traps, which Pip Hat could have pulled into, which we unfortunately pulled none of. Um, so Reaper of the Cards is there for when we need it. Uh, we're playing two Jirai Gumo because... It can attack, but mostly I'm going to be using it as a uh, 220 attack beat stick. I decided not to play the... Uh, I actually should be playing block attack. Ooh. I should be playing block attack. Let me double check how many of those I got, and we'll throw those into the side deck. Real quick. We're doing this live. I don't care. Block attack. Okay, we pulled three of them, so we'll just... We'll just do this. We'll play these. We'll, we'll play the three block attack in the side. Um, but we're playing the two Jirai Gumos, which will act as basically attack, attack position walls. Or if I need them, they will attack. Uh, same with Dark Elf. Uh, we're playing one Witch of the Black Forest because it searches our entire deck outside of Sayaryu and uh, Curse of Dragon, as well as the, just the 200 defense. Uh, beat sticks, and we only pulled one of it, so there it is. We're also playing the one Magician of Faith to recur our spell cards, namely Pot of Greed, Monster Reborn, potentially remove trap uh, if we need it to, and we're also playing two Armed Ninja to deal with any shenanigans Pipet has going on, specifically as well dealing with uh, Paralyzing Potion. We're still on the, the two remove traps to deal with um, the trap cards, we're playing our three uh, Pot of Greed, basically until this gets limited or Pip-Pat bans it. Um, 
We're playing our one of Monster Reborn because we're playing four tributes and being able to get some of these back to get the, into the tributes is very nice. Uh, we're playing three Dragon Treasure, same thing as our Legendary Sword from last week, but for dragons, which we are playing a fair amount of. Uh, we're playing Mountain as well, which boosts pretty much our entire deck, apart from Ryukish and Powered and the Defense Position monsters. Um, and then obviously these guys here, the effect monsters. When we're playing the one acid trap hold to do with the two thousand defense and metal morph because metal morph is insane is probably the card I will ban still unless Pit Pat got his hands on some of the really really powerful cards uh, that I just didn't get. Like Sangan, I could see myself banning if he got a Sangan. I could see myself banning um, something like heavy storm something like um shield and sword which i didn't pull any of of any of the counter traps i could see myself banning mirror force is a huge one that i that i will ban if he has it um but yeah so that is the deck for the side deck uh, I kind of have this a similar idea to what we did last time where we uh, use this, and if he's on the same thing, we switch to something else. We are playing Fiends uh, in the side deck. We have the one Witty Phantom, two Bistro Butcher, a card that I didn't really want to put in the main deck, uh, but might end up being sighted in regardless, just in case. Uh, we're playing the three Class Clown, two Dragon Piper, in case he is on Dragon Capture Jar. Uh because we have a whole dragon strategy. I just wanted to have this here as a contingency plan. Three block attack to deal with stuff like Dragumo and Dark Elf. Uh, Dark Energy, which um, is to equip to these cards. We'll take it out like the dragon energies. And then we also have Yami, which uh, will act as a way to replace um, like Mountain and stuff like that, which boosts all Fiend and Spellcasters, also boosting Dark Elf. Uh, so yeah, that is the deck, and let's get right into the games. Okay, here we go. Post deck building. I actually think I have a pretty good deck here. I think I, I might be starting to get the hang of this. Basically, it's like a it's like a spellcaster themed dark deck, where you know I have these like witches, I have the bistro butcher, I have reaper, Sanjin, just like dark elf, a bunch of these things, witty phantom, and dark king of the abyss. From the last set, these are all Fiend, and I have things like Yami to boost it, as well as Sangen, and hopefully this works out well. In my side deck here, I basically have the ability to switch it to like a Water Fish focus deck, with 7 colored fish I already have in here, as well as Mystical Elf, and focusing more on the spell casting side with the Book of Secrets, as well as Water in case Quinn also builds a Fiend Dark sort of deck, because I feel like there's a lot of strong things we have between those two sets, between these things. Like, I know they got Witty Phantoms. I know they played Reaper of the Cards last time. And things like Beast or Butcher are a common. And I think as well as these two might be commons. So it's very likely that they have similar cards. Of course, Dark Magician, we got both. So I'm planning for the possibility they also build a similar deck. And hopefully switch to Water and be able to do some good. But yeah, definitely definitely more confident about this deck as well as the side deck. I feel like the this deck has the possibility of being good. Of course, I don't really know much about this game, so I might still get steamrolled. But at least from the deck building side, I think this is a much stronger performance than last time. I think likely my goal is probably just to get like monsters on the field and try to boost them. I don't have a lot of like huge tribute monsters. I think like Reaper is my only tribute here which might be a problem I, I i'm just not used to playing with tribute monsters and stuff so th i think that might be my biggest i guess this is also a tribute monster that might be my deck's biggest weakness because that's kind of how quinn destroyed me last time so i think maybe that's one more thing i'll have to look at in the future but i just didn't see many tribute monsters when i was looking through my fiend stuff so Hopefully my hopefully my regular monsters here with the boosts I can give them um, will be able to overcome all the monsters that Quinn has without getting overrun. But if I lose this time, I definitely think a large reason for that is probably because I'm not playing enough tribute monsters. 
So hopefully I at least take one game off point. I don't expect to win the set, but it would be nice to win one game. All right, and here's the duel. Pit Pat, how do you how do you feel? I feel I feel good. I feel like I actually have a deck that has things together and work. And um, I don't think I'm gonna win the set, but I think I could possibly take a game. All right. And I got a side deck this time too. So, so nice. Mix and mix it up. How do you how do you feel about your opening? What do you mean? Like what did you did you did you did you do you oh, feel my good? Pack yeah. Openings. Uh, actually, no. <laughs> Same. I feel like I didn't. I feel like I didn't get what I want. I said in my pack opening, I feel like it may be the fault that there's more cards that are good this time around. So like, I got stuff, but I didn't get all the stuff. And last time, I got most of the stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I um I can tell you that my deck is completely different than last time, but not be Mine. but but mostly because of like some of the weird stuff that was in this set. Not not any of the stuff oh, I that can, I can I can attack this. Yes, you can. Dark elf. Okay. No effect can be activated at this moment. Do you want to check the field? What do I? Uh, just click no. Oh. Is it getting the boost? Uh, you have to click it. You have to target your monster, and then it'll get the boost. Okay. Okay. That's a problem. Battle phase. From my understanding... This should fuck you up. Yes. You'll have to pay a thousand, but this will definitely destroy my monster. Okay, well that was a shitty monster. Why the fuck did I waste my shit on that monster? <laughs> because I played the 2000 defense monsters? You did last time. I, I do. I did and I do. Hmm. <laughs> this is... This is a problem. Like I said, I think I maybe understand a little bit about how this game works. I'm, I'm just glad I got to use Magician of Faith to get back my Pot of Greed. That's what's really in Like, Magician uh, of Faith... I can't believe, we're, can't believe we're two sets in and we're already fucking with the Grave <laughs> This set does it, dude. This set has... Yeah, I know. I got, I got a couple. I don't actually know if I played it yet. This it set... Is is like Magician of Faith, you get um, Mask of Darkness, which does the same thing, but for, but for trap cards. But, no, this is this is a problem. This is a... Uh... Hmm. You gonna go to end phase? Oh, I thought it was your turn. No. I didn't have anything else to do. <laughs> you have to actually click the buttons. Okay, let's um, do this again. Get reading my cards. Let's do this again. Oh my god. Okay. So we're gonna do this and end my turn. Oh fuck! I need a discard because my hand is too big. Um. Ah, uh, cringe. All right, we will get rid of this guy. And uh, this one. Normal summon. Okay. Activate. Fuck. I have swords. I see this. Battle phase. Attack. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, fuck. This was a terrible decision. Uh-oh. What does that do? Ah, fuck. I made a good decision. I can still do 2,000 damage. Not if oh, you... No. <laughs> not if you <laughs> fuck up. I'm an idiot. Fuck. Okay. Uh, uh, I really need to draw something. 
Hmm. Fuck. I don't like how the button clicking in this one. That's understandable. Hmm. <laughs> huh. Well, this is a predicament. A predicament that I'm not a fan of. Because... Can I play two swords on one thing? Yes, you can. Okay, well, I still like this one. Oh, no, no, no. Battle phase. Okay, let's not fuck this up. Attack. Click that. Okay. Take away my sword. And puts it back on top. So I, I know what you're drawing every turn. Oh, I'm drawing a sword every turn. Attack. This is um, a problem, as I have now realized. Although I'm only slightly strong. Actually, I have a lot more monsters. Yeah. And a okay. very good monster. So we're going to we're gonna activate this. Ooh, mountain. That we're doesn't make me do less. Normal yeah. summon this. Oh, hi. Oh, that's strong. We're going to activate this. Well, that's very strong. I'm gonna go battle phase, and we're gonna. Uh, Not horrible to me though. This I can overcome. We're gonna crash into dark elf to get rid of it. Wow. Yeah. So, like I said, I. I think, okay. I mean, I'm sure you know more about this game, but I was de dealing damage to myself every time I used it. Yeah. Like, I was I was only doing a thousand. I do more if I attack you with beast. You were... No, so here, here's here's the thing. Uh, because I knew you were drawing a sort of deep-seated, um, I, uh, I wanted to get rid of Dark Elf, so it wasn't 25. Because I think I can deal with 23 more than I can 25. I just don't have cards. You know, I used I used three pot of greed already, and I haven't I've I've drawn shit. I think I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead here. Yeah. I do get to draw two off of that though, if I were to live. What? How? Uh, did you not read Bistro? Oh. When it, you when this part of flips energy, your opponent's your opponent. Goes. Okay, so Bistro shouldn't be used to attack people. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's think about. I this. can't believe you didn't put the swords as one of the cards I should be. The swords are so good. So, you want to know something funny? Mm hmm I didn't... Uh, I pulled I pulled two, and I'm not playing them. Because I didn't like the idea of having to draw it every turn, but clearly that didn't matter. Uh, okay, let's... Let's fucking... Let's fucking side deck. Okay. I don't actually know what your deck is doing. Wait, can I can I look at some of the cards like in my thing to see things? Yeah, go like for cheating? it. Go for it. You can look at what I was playing. Okay. 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 We'll take out this guy. Um, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, that sounds good. That sound that sounds good. And I'll go first again. Okay. Normal summon Dragumo. Oh. And face. When this card declares an attack set point, if you call it wrong, lose half your life points. Doesn't prevent it from attacking. Is that a good card? Okay. I, I, I put it on your list. Did you? Yeah. You it's, did not. Did I not? I swear I put Dragoma on your list. You did not. I looked at it and said, that's bad. I mean, that. Uh, no, I did. It's right under Sand Gain. Eat shit. Oh, you did. I looked at it and said I didn't want that. I mean, that's fair. Well, it, it is a very steep cost. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, I can sword you? Yes, you can equip spell, uh, things to my cards. Well. This is a problem. You said the fish was good. The fish is good. This is this is fucking a lot. God fuck. God damn it. Why'd you take a hundred? Oh, do you take the difference? Yeah. This is uh really bad. I'm going to lose. I don't know if this is the correct thing, but I am going to make it. This is really, really bad for me specifically. This is, this is great. Really good. Okay. Are you just drawing bad? I don't think. Okay, we'll we'll talk about it after. But I don't think the deck that I built was good. Your opponent has ways to get rid of the swords. Uh, so the swords go away if the monster is destroyed as well. But clearly um, that that's not happening. Clearly that's not happening. Okay. Well. I need to draw really good here. And I, uh, well, I like how I'm, I'm fucking winning, but I didn't get to show any of my cool decks. In it. I can do that. And oh, that's a, that's a big monster. It's not big enough. <laughs> not big enough. Okay. Well, clearly I should have played that. Fuck. I have 
fish. What am I gonna what am I gonna ban? I think I, gonna I, ban? I think I know what I'm gonna ban, but we're gonna talk about what you pulled first before I make that decision. Uh, oh, you can do that? Well yeah, I gave you the opportunity. I won't, I won't lie. <laughs> I could. You could lie. I get to see your opening though, Pit Pat. You do get to see that is true. And that is a uh, GG. Dark Elf is cute. Dark Elf is, is kind of nice. All right. So, Yay. did you pull any of the really funny fun cards? What do you mean the really fun cards? I got two Dark Elves. You got two Dark Elf? I... Uh, what did I get? I got Summon Skull. You got... Were you playing Summon Skull? I think I was. Good. Some... my deck. Summon Skull is... Because it's fiends, right? Yeah. I was playing a Dark Fiend spell. Okay. So you were playing Yami as well? Uh, yep. Yeah, so that was my side deck. I side decked Water, in case you brought Fiend, because I was like, there's a lot of good Fiend cards that I know Quinn has. Like, I Fair. I was like, they might be playing Fiend too. Yeah, so I pulled Dog Shit. I was not playing Summon Skull. You should have been, but there you go. Now you have that information for next time. Summon Skull comes out in this set and is the best monster for a very long time. I could have sworn I was playing it. Though. No, I am playing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Do you not click Sort on your deck? Oh. Uh, but Summon Skull. I pulled. I pulled actual dog shit. The oh, I pulled two Jirai Gumo, one Dark Elf, one Witch of the Black Forest, and one Magician of Faith. I didn't have any Magician. I had Witch. Um, I got a lot of Fish. I got a lot of Butcher, as you can see. I didn't pull any Fish. That's crazy. They're a common. It's a common. I, pull, I was trying to build a Harpy deck, and I pulled Elegant Egotist and, and Harpy Lady Sisters, which are a rare and a super rare. So I was like, that's cool. Uh, hopefully I can get these Harpies because I was going to play Harpy's Dragon that we got and make a really big Harpy's Dragon, play, play a winged beast deck, and I didn't pull any Harpies. I pulled one Harpy Lady, and that's also a common. I got Sangan. I got, got Lock Attack. You got Witch and Sangan? I got Witch of the Black Forest, Sangan, and Witch is a so you you know so th those two cards are, are on your list right and you know and do you understand how strong they are yeah that's why i played them in my deck yeah. that's why i was playing spellcaster feet well and which like, which of the black forest specifically doesn't like they and sangan don't search specifically that yeah but they get boosted by my things fair like, they get boosted by yami fair i was like okay um so Witch and Sangan are very, very good around this time because of what they can do. Um, actually, we probably should have done something because they are very different when they are first released. Now they have a bunch of text on them that... Um, makes them different? So... On release, they don't have the 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 effect on them that they can't activate um, activate cards or the effects of cards with the name for the rest of the turn. They just search them, and they're not once per turn. So if there's a if there's a way I can do that on on EDO Pro, I'll, we'll get that set up for the next episode. Um, but they're insane cards, and I and I didn't pull a single Sandgan. I only pulled one Witch. Pulled two sand and damn damn uh what else did i well i got I, I pulled actual dog shit i pulled actual dog shit you didn't pull as many spells as i want uh i got three, i literally got one block attack and that was i got three block attack and two deep seated and that's about it i didn't get tribute to the doomed i didn't get tribute to the I didn't get fucking... I didn't get shit. I didn't get fuck or shit. What, Mom? 
So you, your next episode is going to be much stronger than mine because of a card that comes out in that set. How many clowns did you pull? I think I got a good amount of clowns. I, w I didn't mention it in the when I my pack opening, <laughs> yeah. but I was looking for the clowns. So I pulled. I have two crash, pl two crash clowns, one dream clown, and two. The other clown doesn't matter. It's only crash and dream. So I don't I, think I got enough, but I got some. I pulled four crass clown and not a single dream clown. Wow. I I got fucked this set. You know what I did pull? Mm -hmm. I pulled a Karibo. I don't even know what a Karibo is. It's the thing that prevents battle damage. It for uh, how long? It's just for like one attack. How's it spelled? Karibo is K U R I B O H. Mm, interesting. I also pulled a card that I probably should have been playing called Sanga of the Thunder. I kind of just looked at it and said this was terrible and moved on, but I probably should have been playing this. Sanga? Yeah. I probably should have been playing that in this deck. But I think a after that, I think I there's a card that I kind of need to ban. Um, and I can't believe I'm fucking saying this, but I'm, I'm banning seven colored fish. You're banning fish. Because I didn't pull a single one and you pulled many. Four. I have four. You have four. I didn't get one, Pit Pet. So I'm banning seven co colored fish because next episode, I think I'll probably end up on a very equip heavy setup. Because of a card called Mahavalo that comes out. Uh, which gains attack for every equip spell equipped to it. Uh, it is a super. So what you're saying is my fiend deck still is alive. Just no fish. You just don't get fish. Yeah, so Mahavalo is in the next set. Uh... And it's a, it's a. I didn't even get to play the witch horse. I didn't. I got to play my magician of faith and draw and use pot of greed three times. You did, and that was annoying. It didn't help. <laughs> it didn't help me at all. Annoying. But, uh, so yeah, we get we got Maha Vilo in the next set. It's a super rare, so there's no guarantee that either of us pull it. But it's a level four light spellcaster with fifteen fifty base attack that. That the the effect it has is it gains five hundred attack for each equip spell equipped to it, which God, that's so that it get gets so big. It gets so big. Oh my so God! Quickly. If, you, if you actually play the swords with that, then you're always gonna have swords. Yeah. So that oh card's gonna be very good. Oh, I I pray you don't pull it. Uh. Um, I I because I don't think it'd be good if I, I'm playing, playing dark. The best that I well, I mean, there's something a, else, but I don't think I have enough. This set introduces um, another set of field spells similar to like forest and stuff that is specific to the attribute. So you like every attribute gets that every attribute gets a searcher in this as well. So that'll really dedicate your deck to kind of playing a specific attribute depending on. So attribute on is dark. Pull. Yeah. Not fiend. correct. Your attribute is dark. Um, so yeah, my, I, I played, I tried to play like a dragon deck cause I was like, all right, I have a bunch of things to like enable tribute summons and I have really good tribute dragons. Um, and then it just didn't work and then it just didn't work. So, so yeah, next episode is going to be pretty fun for me. We also start ban list next episode. Oh, what's banned? Pot of greed? So we, we actually skipped the ban list. We were supposed to start one today, but m there were cards on that list that we'd open up today, and it, that kind of felt icky. Um, so so we're playing with the first ban list being July 2002, um, and a lot of cards get limited. So the cards that get limited on this next set are... Um, all of the Exodia pieces are limited, Mm -hmm. Change of Heart is limited. Dark Hole is limited. 
I didn't get any of those. Monster Reborn is limited. I have that. I, I only those. have one, though, so it's fine. Pot of Greed is limited, so my three so go down pot. to one. One pot, okay. Um, Raigeki is limited. I don't think either of us have that. Nope. Mirror Force is limited. Didn't get one. Uh, and then their couple cards are put to two. Sangan is limited to two copies. Witch is limited to two oh, yeah. copies. Good thing I only have two Sangans. Yeah. Uh, card Destruction is limited to two copies. Heavy Storm is limited to two copies. And Swords of Revealing Light are limited to two copies in this set. Good thing Good thing the limits don't affect me at all, except which you had three of, so technically... It hurts me most. This list hurts me more than you, and that <laughs> really annoys me. Um... So that's that's that. Uh, also, this upcoming set, again, is a very power creep set because of the cards I've told you about. There's a lot more equip spells in this um, that are very, so very like strong. Swords. Yeah, that are very strong. Um, there's new field a, effects. New field effects. New, new kind of boss monsters. Like I, like, like I said, with Mahavalia. Um, it's the introduction of rituals. It's also the first time that burn becomes a strategy of making, of dealing effect damage to your opponent uh, with cards like chain energy and toll. So there's a lot in this set that I think will really change the way we play this. So there's, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. But yeah, so so going forward, we have two new banned cards from us. Um, being Celtic Warrior from the first episode and now Seven Colored Fish. Um, so yeah, that'll be that'll be fun. And uh, any any last marks, Pit Pat? They get fucked, lol. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Peace.